What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off Jens Arn McKinnon's Top 16 Gramble deck from the Limitless Online Qualifier. This deck is awesome, we've been playing it on stream. And Gramble finishing in the Top 16 of a nearly 1,000 player online tournament is quite a feat. Gramble has been around for a while, released originally in Lost Thunder, made famous for its all-out attack, which seems gimmicky. For one fairy energy, it does 30 damage plus 130 more if you have no hand. So the idea of the deck is to play the entire game with no hand. And you can do that using Mancargo's Smooth Over to stack your deck with whatever card you want on the top. And then new from Sword and Shield, Primate, Wisdom, Orangaroo, perfect for swapping any card in your hand with the top card of your deck. And it's very useful for putting non-burnable cards back on top of your deck and then in and then getting burnable cards back into your hand using Smooth Over. So that interaction, it feels like you're making this glorious machine work, and when you win games with the Grand Bull deck, it is immensely satisfying. I have to say, there's a couple of really cool inclusions in this deck. Uh, the player is from Norway, so big props again to Jens for an awesome list here. And we've got the Hoopa with Evil Admonition uh, can help you trade against decks like Malamar is very useful and good for just helping to set up KOs on Pokemon that have slightly over 160 HP. We also have Shrine of Punishment as well as Wondrous Labyrinth Prism Star. Sometimes you can catch your opponent off guard with a well-timed Wondrous Labyrinth Prism Star. We also have... Fairy Charm Lightning to help against Picaram decks and Fairy Charm Ability, which has a whole host of useful situations, uh, useful applications, uh, but definitely good against Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, as well as Mancargo GX. Any Pokemon that has uh, an ability and is a Pokemon GX, that is going to be helping you out against. Then we do have two copies of Diantha. This is my favorite card in the deck. When one of your fairy Pokemon is knocked out, you get to put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. That gives this deck more access to Custom Catcher. You can reuse Custom Catchers. You can get your Grambles back from the discard pile to just chain them turn after turn. Faba is great as well for removing special energy, tool cards, and the like. Also great for removing Chaotic Swell so that you can put your Shrine down. And Shrine is fantastic. Fixes a lot of math on 170, 180 hit points Pokemon GX. This deck is a blast to play. Like I said, we've been having a lot of fun playing it on stream. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Also, if you're looking for code cards, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com. We've got pre-orders available now for Rebel Clash Pokemon trading card game online codes. You can get them uploaded to your account before the set goes live at the beginning of May. Let's check out the gameplay and let me know what you think of this powerful deck in the comments below. Ross is no stranger to rogue decks and rogue strategies and uh, it's no surprise to me that he was able to take a you know a deck that most people would not have considered to be a top deck and do something special with it so let's see we've got kind of a yup sketchy opening hand but that's fine we do have a snubble here and i've actually that's kind of stacked actually if i don't get like turn one marnie or whatever i could gusta i could just you know it's a pretty good hand I'm just gonna i think Keep it like this. Yep. So yes, definitely, uh, definitely Ross. Big props to Ross. Nice third place finish there with a deck that uh, a lot of people probably weren't considering heading into the event. So really, really cool there. Yeah, he was also a big pioneer of uh, Nagquag. He was playing that deck for a while. Uh, Ross definitely has got the sauce. If there's anything we know about Ross, he also played. Uh, what it was known as Fluffy Chomp for a while, Garchomp Giratina. I think it was a Garchomp Giratina. It was Garchomp Altaria. That's it. He played Garchomp Altaria for a little while too. That's just like not a deck that was ever any good uh, back in the format that it was legal. But he did uh, play that that deck, you know, to I think some uh, some middling success, more success than you would have expected from a Garchomp Altaria deck, and uh, and then of course. 
What do you guys think? You guys think I got a turn two knockout on ADP? What you got? What you what you all think about that? Hmm? You think think I got it? Think I got it like that? All right, I'm looking for my sketch pad. I need my sketch pad. I'm gonna need some sharpie markers. All right, we got some sharpies. We're gonna be doing some drawings here momentarily. Yo, that's what's up, Laro Shoe. Oh, oh yeah, it's game time, chat. It's game time for sure. You think we can do it? I'm hoping so. Let's see, we've got double custom catcher of the ADP. Switch into Gramble. And then Marnie and see what happens. Uh, I think I saved the energy just in case I draw into it. Let's go, chat. We've got it. We're insane. We're so nuts at this game. Oh, my goodness. He's <laughs> going down, bro. Okay, yeah. So I think we just go here. And then uh, I don't want to reset stamp them to six. So I can just primate wisdom. Away that. And we've got a Pokemon communication. I can... Hmm... I think I just have to quick ball away the Pokemon communication and quick ball away the Marnie. Yep. That's just what we're doing. Cool. So we're going to do that. Go get ourselves, uh, yeah, another Snubble. And then quick ball away the Marnie. Go get ourselves, I don't know, another Rangaroo. Seems kind of gas. Cool. Just do that. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Oh, this is fun. Let's go, chat. I could get I could get behind this. That's kind of busted. We just turned two, gusted up, knocked out an ADP. And he didn't even get to Alter Creation GX. Tell you what, even if I don't win this game, it was worth it just for that. Now, I only have to take three more prizes. My opponent hasn't really done anything. So... Yeah, Gramble, for those of you that don't know, has an attack all out. Does a 30 damage plus 130 more uh, if you have no cards in your hand. So, the whole idea of the deck is to make it so that you have no cards in your hand. Which is, uh, we actually did okay. We were doing okay with Gramble. We were playing it like a couple, um, like, a, like a month ago or so. We were playing it, and we were doing pretty well with it. Like, uh, we had... Uh, Greg. Greg had a, a nice Graham Bull deck. You guys remember Greg Bull? Yes. I know. Brady, that was a that was a very fortunate draw. You know, it was. And that's okay. We've got the mid cargo as well. That's pretty pretty righteous. And uh we've got the, I mean really I just am knocking out this Jirachi and it's just there's nothing really left for my opponent to do at this point. Uh yeah, let's just great ball. Got another Macargo. I don't even think that there's anything else that I really need. Like, we've just got double Macargos, double Orangaroo out. I could do whatever I want. Let's see, we want to smooth over. No, I don't even need anything. Is there like an air balloon in this deck? Wondrous Labyrinth. There's literally nothing that I need. So. It's only one Diantha in the list. It's good to know. I'm gonna stack that Rosa on top of my deck for next turn. I believe. Yeah. And we're just gonna all out. I don't wanna put the Wondrous Labyrinth yet because they haven't played a stadium. I would rather them play, you know, their Shrine of Punishment. I mean, I guess they have one in the discard pile. Okay. So yeah. We'll wait one more turn and then we'll go with the uh 
the lab. Yo, what's up, Abyssal? How you doing? Got another kickflip. I'm I'm ready. Been cranking these kickflips out for sure. We're gonna get Marnie DeFore. The funny thing about this deck is that you disrupt this deck by giving it a bigger hand sometimes, which is funny, right? Like you give them a big hand and you're like, I wonder if they can respond to this. And we just try to respond to that. So I think this deck just wins games by this deck just wins games by taking out ADP turn two. Like that's just what you have to do. You have to knock out the ADP like pronto, and then you just try to knock out like two other things. I don't actually know how we deal with the Zashian effectively. I mean, we could swing into it, and then we could gust it up and swing into it again. That or I can gust once and then gust again. I think just swinging into it and then gusting it up and knocking it out for game is the way to do this. So we're probably just gonna do that. Uh, we want to put the custom catcher back. Yeah, first we're gonna Rosa. That's fine. We actually don't want the energy. A trainer. Just gonna thin these things out of my deck. And an energy, it's fine. So I'm just going to get this thing out of the deck. Got an energy to go here. And then I'm going to smooth over. And we are going to grab ourselves a Gramble. Then I'm going to Primate Wisdom. And I'm going to trade the custom catcher for the grand bull because then i can pokemon communicate the grand bull back into the deck and just be gone with you yeah and then we're going to put the shrine out and we're going to smooth over and stack diantha for next turn and we're just going to all out for knockout not knockout, 160 damage. And then next turn. Um, yo, let's do the kickflip between turns, chat. You ready for this? You think you think I got it? I think I got it. Real quick, just real quick, chat. Surely counts. Yeah, you, your pick. One of those. <laughs> One of those gets there. Uh, thank you, Abyssal Wolf, for the. Uh, Tricky point. Commission on the kickflip. Thanks for hanging out. You know, it's uh, it's fun winning games of Pokemon, but if you can uh, win games and do kickflips in the you know, in the same breath, then I think that's like the most fun you could be having, right? So we're gonna get knocked out here, and then I can just Diantha for game. Because I can just get the Grand Bull back. Literally anything else. So, we just Diantha. Go get Grand Bull and just a burnable card. Nice scoop. So, uh, wow. Yeah. Just got there with uh, that top 16 Grand Bull list. That was looking like some flames. We started off incredibly... So let's uh, let's rock it with another uh, another game here real quick. Heck yes, I'd like to go first. Thanks. That first one didn't count. We stepped off, so I had to redo it. <laughs> first one was a no go, chat. Now what is this? Oh no! This looks like a deck I could definitely lose to. Take my 10 mulligans. It's fine. <laughs> oh! Is this an auto loss? I don't think I can beat this, right? 
Oh, this is the infamous sniper. <laughs> That's wonderful. All right, chat. We're going for the win anyway, so we're gonna see what we can do. Maybe their deck doesn't set up. Yo, thank you so much, Dave Rose, for that Twitch Prime sub. No way. Miss me with those hammers, dude. Dang it. What is wrong? <laughs> no. What the heck? And I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, hey, what's going on? All right. Now, I don't think they have a good hand. So there's that, right? If I can build up three energy on a Granville, I could theoretically just take the win. So. All I want is to keep the energy coming. So we're just going to do that. Cool. I'm just going to pass. And we're going to hope that since this is a shuckle deck, that it's just not that good, right? And that my opponent is just not going to draw that well. And that, uh, you know, we could just quick knock out a couple of shuckles with a three energy gramble. Right? This deck is not good, is the thing about this deck. It's not good. It's a bad deck. It's a very bad deck. So, we'll see. We'll see. If they miss their final two crushing hammers, they're, you know, they're locked in at only doing... Oh, and they play swell? It certainly hurts. And they play great potions? Man. It's not good. It's for sure. Ah, <laughs> I could follow this well. All right. Get ourselves into another McCargo, and then I can quick ball. Doesn't really matter. I want to stack another energy on top of the deck. I'm going to save the Faba. Oh, I understand. I understand what the opponent is up to, chat. I understand that this was all built to, to counter me. I get that. <laughs> For sure, I get that. Um, Cool. All right, we're chilling. I wonder if he labels his deck Mahone Counter. That'd be epic. Does anybody actually know? Like, because you know he's watching right now. You know he's watching. Like, you know, he sees my hand. He just knows what's going on, right? Because he's watching the stream. So what's up, Sogaleo? How you doing? Welcome to Tricky Gym. Hopefully you're enjoying... Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. Because I know I'm enjoying myself. In fact... I think it's going to be epic when I beat you right now. I think it's going to be very epic. So <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right. So we've got the three energy. And then Fava Swell. Smooth over the shrine. Um, pal pad back in the fava. 
smooth over a snubble. Yeah, primate wisdom, that into the snubble. And uh, yeah, we all out for knockout, right? So we got further than I think we planned, right? We got further than we thought we would get. <laughs> Life forest immediately. Yeah. Now, fortunately, they only do 30 damage turn. So they've already wrapped GX. So it's just triple poison from here on out. And in order for me to take knockouts, I'm going to have to do like the Faba shrine thing like every turn. But I can only get the shrine back. Oh, I can only get the shrine back. Oh, my God. I might, I might just have lost. I might not be able to do it, chat. Might not be able to do it. Because I can only get the shrine back if damage is dealt or if a Pokemon's knocked out during my opponent's last turn and the poison the poison does not trigger Do you understand what I'm saying? The poison does not trigger my Dianthus. That's like my biggest issue. So I can only get Yeah. This is a plot twist. Now, this is twisty. Okay. Seems fine. Now, I know that they got a Lusamine, so they can go get themselves their swell back. Which is annoying. And then we just uh, Primate Wisdom into that thing. And hit for 160. And then I'll smooth over probably Faba again. But it doesn't even matter. The swell doesn't matter anymore because I'm not going to be able to do anything. Probably just like a Marnie. It's fine. We'll just all out. So we're at least putting some pressure on. The ability charm was a quick... A quick... Uh, a quick casualty, unfortunately. It got fobbed away. Oh, I did fob the swell. Yes. But it doesn't matter. I fob the swell. I fob the swell. That's right. But assuming they play more than one. Um, I did fob the swell. Um, but uh, but the, it, it still remains that I cannot get my shrine back because I can't Diantha for my shrine because I'm gonna when I get KO'd I'm gonna get KO'd by poison, and not by uh, an attack damage. So I'm never gonna be able to Diantha back for my shrine, which is how I need to do 170 damage. So I'm just stuck having to two hit KO these things. So I'm going to have to. I have an Arcto's ult left to draw. This one's just a very grindy matchup. And yo, what's up, Denegenerate, in the chat? What's up, y'all? It's all wave high to Denegenerate. So it looks like... Looks like I'm chilling, to be honest. I think I just get the guaranteed knockout on this thing. Smooth over. Give me... How many energy do I have in the discard pile? Only one. It's not time to use that yet then. Um, any burnable card, please. A Great Ball Lightning Charm. Yeah, that's fine. And then we just Primate Wisdom into that. Lightning Charm, go on the active. Smooth over. I want my top deck to be, again, probably still Marnies are good. I need it to be an energy. That's right. Okay. 
In fact, that's what my top deck, that was a little bit of a misplay. That was my top deck, that's what my top deck should have been this last turn. Or I should have, instead of the uh, the lightning charm, the timer started to get to me, but the lightning charm that I that I stacked should have been a fairy energy. Now I do have an opportunity to save my Grand Bowl though, because I ripped a switch off my prize. So that's good. And then I'm guaranteed getting an energy off the top. So we're going to start loading up this second snubble here. But I do have to be careful that I don't deck out. Do you have to be wary of that? It's fortunate. Da -da -da -da. We're on a streak right now, Gramble, so we're going to keep that Gramble vibe going. The real one is trash to yours. Yo, thanks, Scotty. I appreciate that. Thanks for the positive vibes. Dave Rose, I know. I should send my artwork into Pokemon as a resume and just be like, or uh, I should send my portfolio into Pokemon official and be like, all right, looking to try and snag a job as a Pokemon trading card artist. Just wondering if you had any openings. I've been really working on my craft every day. Okay. Denegenerate, getting in there with the Denegenerosity chat. Give it up for Denegenerate with the two gifted subs. Busted Denegenerates. Wow. Thank you so much, Denegenerate, for all you do. Pleasure to have you today. Um, I think of all these cards, all these cards are good is the problem with a hand like this, right? Um, the pal pad's probably the weakest link. And then, I think I'm just gonna get rid of that, get ourselves a Rangaroo. Draw some cards. Cool. Get a ditto. All right. I like that. Strong turn one. I should submit my Dialga drawing for the application. I think so, right? Scotty says, I just have to tell them that this is what it should have looked like. Listen, I know Ken Sugimori, kind of a big deal, but listen, Ken, I've got some real top-notch ideas here. Got some real, some real good ones. You're going to love it. All right, let's go. Pokemon communication for a Mug Cargo. Evolve into Meg Cargo. Smooth over. We're going to stack a Marnie, Cynthia, Cynthia. I need to hit an energy. I need to hit a lot. And I don't want to marnie them because they're hand sticks. So we're gonna go here. And we're gonna primate wisdom into the old Cynthia and just let it rip. Alright, shuffle draw all six. Can we do it? No. No, we can't. Alright. That's fine though. Coming this summer, Rob Schneider is a Dialga stapler. 
Yeah, Rob Schneider. Yes, good reference, Valero. Good reference. I don't know where my Dialga stapler is, honestly. They're deep, but all the drawings are in the Discord. Yeah, listen, my uncle is actually best friends with Ash Ketchum, so, yeah, kind of have some advanced knowledge. This has got to be one of the worst drawings I've ever done. You guys want to check out this Metagross? This one here. This one sits here in the office and disturbs me every single day. Mega Metagross. It's an absolutely horrible one. What happened to its legs? <laughs> Why did its legs <laughs> turn out like that? I do not know. All right, another hypnosis turn from my opponent. That makes me feel good. And I've got Faba. We've got some things. We've got some things. This is a big, ugly hand. And I don't have the energy that I need yet. So it's like a couple issues with it. I think I have to just like Marnie. I don't think that I can, I don't think I can get out of this hand without using Marnie. Like, Well, I guess I could I could smooth over Primate Wisdom twice, actually. So let's do that. No, I can. I can. I can Faba, too, to knock out the active. We just smooth over Primate Wisdom twice. So we smooth over first, like, Fairy Energy, and then Primate Wisdom, the Diantha, into it. Oh, but it would have to be, like... But they don't... I don't... Mix up the order of my deck. Hmm... No, 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 I can do it. Yeah, yeah, So we smooth over. First, another McCargo. I can do this, right? I'm pretty sure I can do this. All right, and then we Diantha. Yeah, I can do this. What the heck? Yeah, we got it. All right, and then we go here. And then I smooth over the fairy energy. The machine. She works. And then we put down the second Oranguru and we Primate Wisdom. Sure, I'll put Wondrous Labyrinth in play this turn. And then we're going to Faba, the Spell Tag, Fairy Energy. Man, playing this deck makes you feel like, makes you feel like you're Noggin and you're like a Jimmy Neutron out here. Insane. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely makes you makes you feel like your brain is swole. You're just like doing brain stretches all day. Now, there are a lot of Pokemon GX. I think this is a, probably a Mewtwo oriented Malamar deck. Not sure though. Now with the Viridian, everything gets way easier. <laughs> what the hell, there's Squirtle, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. All right, we got some guys taking some pings here. Already farts, I'll have to check that out. We got a Giratina coming up. What is this? Is this a metal? Is this just like a? Is this an Ultra Necrozma deck? Is that what this is? Hmm. All right. So my goal to win. 
is going to be to knock out the Giratina, then gust to the Dedenne and gust to the Oracorio and have that be game. It feels really bad to bump the Viridian when that's like one of the pieces that I need. I'm just going to, I'll Diantha for the Shrine. I'll just get the Shrine later. I'm going to get the Shrine later. Yeah, I'll do the Shrine later. I don't need the Shrine this turn. We're just going to Marnie. Okay. So we need two things. Got the Grand Ball. I need a Snubble. Actually, just one thing. All I need is the Snubble. So we're going to smooth over the Snubble. And we're going to, don't touch that, Primate Wisdom, the Diantha for the Snubble. And then we are going to smooth over a Great Ball. It's just a nice vanilla burnable card. Or the Shrine. The Shrine's nice. We'll just, we'll pop the Shrine right now. Yeah, that's fine. Because I kind of have this free turn to do it. And then I could just put the 10 damage on the Oracorio and it'll stay there. So, that works. And then we Primate Wisdom into the Shrine. And then we're not going to be bad. So first we're going to do that. We're going to do that. That. Skadoosh. All right, we all out. For knockout. And we put the 10 damage onto the Oracorio. That was kind of just like a free opportunity to do that. So now I don't have to worry about putting 10 damage on the Oracorio later. And I'm trying to play around the baby Blacephalon as well, which is why I went for the knockout on the Giratina this turn. Um, so... The route is to try and gust to Dene and Oracorio the next two turns. I didn't want to Great Catcher. No, because then I just give them the opportunity to snipe 12. No, 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 no. Yeah, this turn, for sure. We do not want to give them the three prize turn. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not at all. Also... I never want to get rid of two Dianthas. That's, you want to save the Dianthas. The Dianthas are like the best card in the deck. And earlier I had to get rid of my Palpat, so. We definitely wanted to go to four prizes, and then we want to skip to two prizes, get around the Baby Blacephalon. Now, the scariest thing, I don't know if this is an Ultra... I think this is an Ultra Necrozma deck, right? So, like, that's the scariest thing, is that if they just GX me, right? And is it Ultra Necrozma... Is it six or fewer? Prizes for Sky Scorching Light? Six or less, yeah. So that's that's the sketchy thing. So we're worried about Sky Scorching Light. That's like, that's what we're looking out for. Cause like they're kind of chipping away at my McCargo's here. Okay. Okay, we go get Rosa. Believe. Huh. 
Huh. It's tough because it's like, okay, I've got knockout on the Oracor. Oh, I knock out to Dene, and then Hoopa can knock out the Oracorio for game. That's nuts. Okay. What? Is Hoopa still in the deck? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, Hoopa can knock out Oracorio. So that's like, uh, that's our wing con right there. Definitely sketchy, but there's the switch. There's the energy. So I've got those two cards. That's all I need. That's half of it. That's like two thirds of it right there. Half of it. Because it's a four card combo. I need Hoopa, Gust, Switch, Energy. And uh, we got 50% of it in our hand right now. Marnie'd out of it, but that's fine. The hand is getting bigger. So, like, the hand needed to get bigger in order to make this happen. And I think... Getting very close. Very close to being in there. Now, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, I'm doing infinite damage with my Hoopa. I just need to figure out a way to get it out. We could Diantha, yeah, probably just Diantha for like Quick Ball and Switch. Yeah, Diantha for Quick Ball, Switch. I've got the energy, Smooth Over for Great Catcher, GG's. That's it. All right. There's the Quick Ball right there. So, really all I can, I just Diantha for the, uh, I have it. I have it. I just go get the switch. I just have to make sure that uh... Yeah. Quick ball. Get this. Great catcher in deck. Great catcher's in deck. I can actually Diantha for custom catcher out of my discard pile. And there's one more custom catcher in my deck. You got it right here. Costume catcher, switch, smooth over, last custom catcher. Orangaroo into the custom catcher. And we've got it. Bring them out, switch, and GG. And also no re. There we go. Shooks. It's close. That's a close game, chat. We got there. This uh, Gramble deck looking like looking like some heat this morning for sure, chat. Wow. I mean, that all just came together very well.